In this video, I'll be taking you through the process of an in-place update for a computer running Microsoft's Windows 10 LTSC to Windows 11 Enterprise. An in-place update refers to an update that leaves all files and applications intact after the update. If your organization has a software deployment tool, this might not be necessary for you. That's not the case for my context and probably a lot of you on the internet, so we'll proceed with the next steps. It also might work for you to just use a standard Windows 11 installer, but I also haven't found that to be the case. For me, it pulls up a message that says, your files, apps, and settings can't be kept because you're installing an edition of Windows that's different than the one you're currently using. So because of this, we're going to make a USB installer that's compatible with Windows 11 Enterprise. To create the installer, we'll need to download a file from GitHub. A link to this GitHub site can be found in the video description. Download the zip file, unzip it, and then run the media creation tool.bat file. Select the desired Windows 11 version, then click Select. Those windows will each pop up twice, and then a more familiar window that looks more like the standard Windows Media Creation tool will open. Use this window to create a USB installer for Windows 11 Enterprise. With that done, I recommend disconnecting the computer from the internet and then logging into a local administrator account. Plug in the USB installer we made and open File Explorer to it. Now in the address bar, type CMD and hit Enter to open Command Prompt in that folder. In Command Prompt, enter this command. This is the standard Windows Enterprise license key that is readily available on Microsoft's website. Link in the description. We'll have that command listed down there as well. After entering this command, the Windows Updater will launch. Select Change How Setup Downloads Updates and say Not Right Now if you want to expedite the process. Follow the remaining on-screen instructions to upgrade to Windows 11. That's it. Your computer will take its time updating to Windows 11, but once it finishes, it should be good to go. I hope this video has helped you. Thanks for watching.